Hey, what's up guys, BossX7 here, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys today. So we're going to be making thick spined lifts for B&M inverts, or this could work for any B&M coaster. So when you go to styles for the lift, and it doesn't allow you to change the spine type. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today, so press OK. So if you notice for the normal track, you can change the spine type. You go to style, I have a large box right here. So. Let's add that to the lift now. So we're gonna start off highlighting the lift portion that you want to be uh, thick, we'll have a thick spine on it. Go to element, press save track element, and type in lift or anything you want to be named, press okay. Type same thing here, press save. That's a little trick a lot of people don't know about. So when you go to add element, It'll start you off here at library, so go to file system, go down to the bottom, go to lift, press OK, press OK, and you have your element here. So highlight it where the nodes are, and let's rotate it. Let's highlight just that, alright. Press R, rotate, and move it next to it. Don't move it above it yet, just yet, because we need to do some adjustments to it. So move it right next to it, line up the nodes, there we go. And let's go to front view and line it up. There we go. Alright. So now we have a copy of our lift, which is good. So next step, let's freeze it. Alright, so alright, so you're gonna notice that this segment is invisible, so make sure you have your your lift segment that you want the thick box beam on. Make it invisible. Now the chain still still appears, which is good. So now unfreeze it, go to here, go to your second track, and this is gonna be a normal track. So go to track, style, now you can change it to medium or large box, doesn't matter, but let's do large to kind of exaggerate a little bit for you guys. So press okay. And you're gonna have a type separator here and make sure you have one of these on this end and on the bottom. Make this a large box beam. So go to style, make it large box beam for the segment right before the station or right before your turnaround or anything like that, right before the lift. And take this end on the start of your lift and extend it this way. So it overlaps just a tiny bit over here. And on this side, go to add vertex, add a vertex. Don't know why I did that. All right, let's go to top view then. Add a vertex here. All right. There we go. And extend it across here just a tiny bit. All right, now let's freeze it. All right, so now you have this thick um, spine for the B&M lift. All right, so now let's go to unfreeze. Now, you're gonna have to adjust all of this based on your coaster uh, style and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make sure this is either on medium or large. It depends if you decide to use this box beam as large or medium. So right now I need to adjust this to large so it will fit. There we go. And let's freeze it. All right. All right, so I'm actually gonna downsize this just a little bit here. So make this a medium. So go to medium box, there we go. And Let's change this back to, let's change this back to medium. There we go. That's okay. All right. Let's freeze it again. All right. Okay, so now once we have the look of it that we want, so go to the, just look at it from the side to see if it looks okay. That's why we line them up next to each other. Might have to do some tweaking here. So let's unfreeze it, go to top view. And this needs to be lined up in the line, there we go. And highlight this section here and move it directly above the track. And make sure it's on the nodes, on these nodes here. So let's line it up. All right, now let's freeze it. All right, so 
Now you can see from on this side, this remember the segment was a large box beam going down into a medium, which is the lift now. Now we can tell from up here we need to adjust it just a tiny bit. So unfreeze it. Click on the segment here. Go to style. And change this to large. And freeze it. Alright, now this is the part where the chain casing will go over the top of the lift and all the way back down into this end here and come back down. I right, hope you guys liked the video. Um, the next episode I'll be doing a, a tutorial on how to make floors for the transfer, how to make custom catwalks and lift hill motors for B&M inverts, as well as catwalks to the top up here and uh, ladders. So if you guys liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and like for more.